Peace. You know, a lot of times in our community, we break the rules, you know, within organizations and so on and so forth in, you know, neighborhood, surroundings, jobs, whatever. We take the shortcut. We like to break rules. You know what I mean, we don't like structure. We don't like order. And that's ridiculous because we come from a culture that is based on structure and order. You understand what I'm saying? When you look at those magnificent monuments all through the continent of, of, of what we call Africa and what you call Southeast Asia and so on and so forth, you are looking at structure from one perspective. But you got to understand that it was structure from another perspective that allowed those structures to be built. Discipline, structure, rules and orders were followed in order for those civilizations to prosper in the way that they did. You understand what I'm saying? We have to have rules. We have to have orders. You know what I'm saying? We have to have structure in order to move forward and to free ourselves collectively. This is not an individual thing. Freedom is not an individual thing. I can tell you what freedom is not. Can't tell you what it is. I can give you my imagination of what it could be, but I'm going to tell you, we need order and structure and we don't like it. We want to be able to do what we want to do. You know what I'm saying? We want to be able to do it when we want to do it and have the instant self-gratification to make it do what it do right then, there, so on and so forth. You know what I mean? It doesn't matter how it get done. It doesn't matter if it breaks the rules or policies that are laid down in protocols and so on and so forth. There has to be structure. And without structure, we will not be able to move forward. You know what I'm saying? So we have to begin to check ourselves and check others who want to push structure out the way who want to push orders out the way who want to push rules out the way because see these things create loyalty and discipline and so on and so forth these are the things that you need when you build a nation you understand you need those things so this is what order and structure brings about it brings about change and it brings about change in a manner which is Powerful because it has organization, because it is structured. You understand? Because it has rules and regulations and each person is a piece of the machine playing their part properly, knowing their job description and fulfilling their job description with accuracy. That is the science behind order. When we look at a colony of ants or a colony of bees, you are seeing structure and order. That's why they work so wonderfully together. You know what I'm saying? And they don't ask questions and they don't fight. They don't bicker. They know their jobs. They they do their job. The drone, the worker, the they know their jobs and they, and they do them. And they don't cross the gray areas into other job descriptions that they have no knowledge on. You understand what I'm saying? So order and structure is powerful because when it is used properly, it brings about change. Not only in an environment, but in the individuals who are participating in that particular order structure that is filled with rules and regulations. You understand? Because these things are necessary, regardless of what you think. Everything has rules. Everything has rules. And once we understand that, we'll probably look at life a little bit differently because we're under somebody else's ideal of what living is. You understand what I'm saying? So therefore, we have to re-examine what we think living is and understand that it is not turning it up. That's out of structure. That's out of order. If your whole life is turn up, you have to come down. It's gravity. Logical sense means you can't stay that way all day and all night. You have to come back to this reality. Everything has structure and order. So therefore, we must find structure and order first in our lives and then we must be able to take it out and utilize it collectively amongst each other and create, produce, and manufacture and change our condition. But we have to have structure and order. You can't be freestyling. Peace.